the prophet of Allah peace be upon him Muhammad Rasulullah Muhammad Habibullah Muhammad Rasulullah Muhammad Habibullah A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa Salatu Wa Salamu Ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa Ala Ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa Barik Sallam Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the cherisher, the sustainer, the loving and the forgiving. And peace be upon the Messenger of God, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today's episode, we will be talking about food and contentment. And in the last episode, we talked about our relationship and the importance of relationship, and who do we need to build our relationships with. In this episode, we will talk about food and contentment. Food is, as every one of us knows, one of the necessities of life. We cannot live without food for long. Also, if we take excessive food, then we end up with problems. So, moderation is the key. Whatever we do, it should be in moderation. What we see now is that some nations, they have surplus of food. And some nations, they have very little food. Other people are starving to death. So, what is the solution for this problem that mankind is facing? Now, if we want to find a permanent solution, and really want to find a solution, we will only get the solution in following the Prophet, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When we look at the life of the Prophet, we see that he ate very little food, and his food was very simple. And there are many hadiths of the prophets where we know that there were many days that the fire was not lit in his house, and he didn't have food to eat, even though he was the king of the kings. If he wanted, he could have all kinds of food, all the wealth and everything, the luxuries of life, the comforts of life and everything. But he chose to live a life as a slave of God. And it's, we, it's known that he never had or he never filled his stomach full of food any time in his life. We, when we eat, we are not really thinking or trying to follow the Prophet and his Sunnah. We feed our bodies, but unfortunately we forget to feed our souls. Our souls are starving, but our bodies are being overfed. So we have to sit and think and try to rectify this by following the Prophet ﷺ. It was his sunnah to fast every Monday and Thursday and the 13th, 14th and the 15th of the lunar month. So if we follow him, then we will have good health both in our bodies, in our minds and in our souls. Following the Prophet is healthy. 
and fasting is one of the best medicines. What we should do is share the blessings of Allah with those people who do not have enough to eat or enough wealth or enough clothes or no place to live. Now, the second part is about contentment. If you are pleased with God and with His Messenger, then you will be content. And contentment is one of the most important things in our life. When we are not content, then we are seeking things and we will never be happy. No matter how much we eat, no matter how much wealth we have, no matter how many clothes we have, we will never be content. And we will seek for more and more and more. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in the Holy Quran, chapter 98 and verse 8, Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with Allah. And the Prophet ﷺ said in his hadith, of the good fortune of man is his contentment, and what Allah has decreed for him. And in other hadith he said, that if a, the son of Adam is given a mountain of gold, he would seek for more. That means he will not be content with what he is given. And he would struggle and strive to get more and more and more. So, what is the limit? Where is the limit? How far we will keep going? How much do we really need? And if you really think over it, we do not need much to live our lives on this earth. Since we have the love of the material things of this world, we go after them. We, in fact, should be living like a boat in the sea. The sea is the material world, and the boat is you. And we know that there is no water in the boat. And as long as there is no water in the boat, we can live. And once the water starts coming into the boat, then we are in danger. And imagine what happens if the boat is filled up with water. We will sink. That means we are sunk into the material world. And it is difficult to get out of this. So live your life like the boat on the sea. It's not wrong to acquire the dunya, but it's not good to love it. So we have to strike a balance. And to strike this balance, we need to go back to Sayyidina Muhammad to learn from his teachings and to learn from his sunnah, and to learn from his companions, and to learn from the people who follow the Prophet and his companions. So my advice to you is that be careful when you eat food. Eat as much as is enough for you to live and do your daily work. Don't eat in excess, and be happy with whatever Allah has given you and you will be happy. Wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Prophet of Allah Peace be upon him Muhammad Rasulullah Muhammad حبيب الله محمد 
رسول الله محمد حبيب الله